I got a bad feeling about this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you, my fellow Tenos. And today we're going to be discussing the death of our beloved Warframe. Eight meters. Seven. Six. Five meters, man. Four. What the hell? The reason why I say that is because Warframe has been bought by Tenchant, which is a Chinese uh, entertainment company. They've been swallowing up tons and tons of uh, studios lately and taking full ownership of uh, their products. Now, let's just, let's just take a look at the, the games that they uh, fully own or partially own. Uh, so, uh, number one, they have full control over Riot Games, which is Valorant and League of Legends. So if any of you guys play League of Legends, you might be able to tell me a little bit more uh, as far as the changes that have come to, to League since uh, Tension has bought them. Now they also own Funcom. I don't know what Funcom, Funcom is. Uh, oh, Age of Conan, Anarchy, and The Secret World. Okay, uh, so dead, dead games. Unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> never played them, but as far as I understand, nobody has either. Uh, and they have bought full ownership of... Uh, a Hong Kong based company named Liu, which is what used to own uh, Digital Extremes since about 2015. Uh, so if you're if, if you heard about Tenshin buying Warframe and you're like, oh my gosh, Chinese, you know, overlords owning my favorite game. Well, Chinese overlords have owned your game for about six years now. <laughs> so as far as that, things aren't really changing. Um, uh, the, the most that's happening is... Uh, they're taking the money from, or they, they're giving money to these Chinese overlords, and Hunter's just going to be giving it to the other Chinese overlords. Not much of a change, I'll tell you that much. Or is it Grinding Gear Games? Here it is. 80% ownership of New Zealand company Grinding Gear Games, uh, which makes Path of Exile. If you guys haven't played Path of Exile, it's a wonderful game, and uh, I've played it for about three to four years. And <clears throat> since Tenshin bought the game, uh, it was about two, 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 three years ago when that happened. The community freaked out. They thought everything was about to change, and for lots of people, that's 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 the game that they play. You know that that is their uh, main main game, and um, everybody thought it was the end of the world for that game. And literally nothing changed. The game stayed a good free to play game where the only things that you can buy are cosmetic. And you can't progress just because you got, you know, more money in the bank than the, the next guy. So, uh, literally, nothing changed. And it, it was bought by Tenchant, which is kind of known for making your game into a mobile game. Or at least that's what they used to be known for. After that happened to Path of Exile, I kind of, uh, you know, thought differently. Because... Um, if, if it was going to happen, it was going to happen to that game. That game had a million ways for them to monetize it in a terrible way. And they didn't, which is surprising as all hell. Uh, so honestly, guys, I don't think Warframe is going to change much at all. The only thing that might change is a little bit of censorship when it comes to um, talking about Chinese politics or just China in general. If you mention... Uh, we need the poo you probably can't do that anymore and I see a lot a lot a lot of uh, people kind of freaking out on the internet but uh, uh, I want to give you guys some peace and tell you that unless we see paid for battle passes and um, loot boxes in Warframe then yeah game's dead game's dead for sure but, uh, you know, if, if they don't, then everything's going to be just like it used to be. We just won't be able to call, you know, Chinese president Winnie the Pooh in chat, something like that. Which, I, I don't know how many times you've came across that problem. But uh, uh, to me, that's really not going to bother me all that much, you know. 
in the, in the grand scheme of things. I don't like censorship as much as the next person, but you know, we're we're talking here in realistic uh, terms. Since the sale is complete, and you know, digital extremes is moving hands to Tentium. So, uh, but yeah, rest easy, guys. Um, more content coming to you next week and uh, just as always have a great one ladies and gentlemen and I'll see you in the next one